guys can hear me. You know my routine. Just give me one second. Uh, okay, great. All right, we are live. So yeah, I wanted to go over a few ways that um, that I make lindens. Is it a million dollars? No. Is it money that I can actually upload and take out of SL? I mean, yeah, if I'm going to try to take 20 bucks or something, <laughs> you know, but this is something that I, I do to help uh, facilitate my shopping, you know, my weekend sales and all the great events throughout SL and, of course, the Gotta Get You Gotcha sales event. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to kind of go over it. Most of it is focused on BU, but not all of it. So um, if you guys are into BU, I'll tell you what I do. And I'm also going to tell you what I don't do and why I don't do it. Can you not make money from the things that I don't do? I don't know, but I feel like there's too much initial investment for me to even try. So I don't explore those options, or I have, and I didn't feel like they were beneficial to me. But anyway, enough rattling on. Um, I'm at my farm, as you can see, the Gregory Farms. Um, and one of the ways that I make money is I, uh, I do my garden. And I don't necessarily do herbs, um, but I do uh, plants from BU. So I have some asparagus growing, some artichoke, uh, some green bell pepper, and yes, some uh, some harvests sell better than others. And the only way you're going to really know is by playing and being involved in the BU community and kind of seeing what people like to make, what are the newest recipes. Um, like when the hamburgers dropped, everybody was buying lettuce and tomatoes. So I planted a lot of lettuce and tomatoes. When the chickens dropped, people wanted to feed their chickens. So there was corn involved in the recipes. So I grew a lot of corn. So you kind of got to figure out what is going on in the BU community and plant accordingly, okay? Um, Remember, seasonal plants uh, grow within uh, five days, and out of season uh, take twice as long unless you use fertilizer. I'll go over the fertilizer with you here shortly. So yeah, I do a lot of uh, I do a lot of vegetable plants, and occasionally I do a few fruit trees. The breakdown is it's a hundred lindens per pack, and you get five seeds per pack. Okay, so for 100 lindens, you get five seeds. And each plot yields, for me, anywhere from two to four plants. So let's say I'm doing tomatoes. I'll get two to four tomatoes per plant. So if I have five plants, I could get, you know, close to 20. And I'm selling each one for 20 to 25 lindens. Or I'll sell a fat pack, which is five of them for 90 to 100 linden. So if I sell one five pack and I'm getting three to four five packs, you see where the profit margin is. So I'm making like two to 300 lindens per harvest on the veggies, okay? Most of the veggies do sell for 20 to 25 lindens each. And if you sell them in five packs, they usually sell from anywhere from 90 to 100 lindens, depending on where you put them, okay? And I'll go over where I put mine, so you guys can do the same. So there's that. Um, I don't really sell oil, but because uh, I don't know how much demand there is on oil, but here's my oil presses, and I use these for paint. Paint is kind of a higher investment to start with because I believe the paint machine is 1100 lindens um, and then you're also going to need something to chop your wood with and I don't remember how much the sawhorse is but it's a few hundred lindens as well but I sell paint um, am I making a profit off of it yeah after my obvious uh, initial investment is covered I will because I make about 300 lindens a day off of paint so I'm making a little here and a little there but it all adds up at the end of the week uh, pain is a process. You have to buy the seeds, and the seeds cost 700 lindens for a five-pack, but they yield 
a lot of pain. I'm not going to sit here and break down the math with you right now, but you get you will get your money back is basically what I'm saying. It just takes a little bit longer, but after you get all your seeds planted, you got to figure out what the recipes are. You know, they have informational note cards at the BU um, headquarters that you can go over, but if you want to sell paint, you're probably going to want to sell all the colors. So there's five color, uh, what do you call them? I've got a loss of words. Five color packs. They're not called packs. Swatches. Five color swatches, and each swatch has five to six different colors. So you got red, burgundy, dark red, red wine. That'll be like the red swatch. And you got pink, pink rose, ultra pink, blah, 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 so on and so forth. So you buy each swatch, I think, for 99 linens. So you got to buy that. You have to buy the paint mixer. You got to plant trees. So there's a lot to it. If you guys really want to get involved in painting, you should IM me or hit me up on Discord and I'll go over it with you, but it's a lot to cover in this video. I just kind of wanted to dab into what I do to make lindens to show you that there is a profit margin available if you um, invest, you know, the initial amount of money. To me, I feel like... Uh, planting trees and gardens are probably the lowest investment. You could buy one five plot soil for 150 linens in a pack of seeds for 100 linens. So 250 linens would be your initial investment for one plot. I do suggest you get at least three plots uh, and three seed packs um, and maybe start with the seeds that are in season so you can grow them faster and turn your profit quicker but there's that. Um, also, I harvest water and electricity um, and I sell that and I'll show you, let me go back over here to the garden. Uh, so if you want your plants to grow a little bit faster, uh, you have to buy one of these composite boxes right here. I believe that's what they're called. Yeah, you sit on it if you have food that has gone bad after 30 days your food goes bad and it goes into the trash if you have any you just click on the box you click fertilizer and it tells you how many um, expired items you have currently I have 16 so I can get 75% um, fertilizer what does 75% fertilizer mean that means that my plant will will uh, grow at a 75% rate for that particular stage. So you don't want to do it mid-stage. Let me explain what I mean by that. Because you could sell your fertilizer for a lot of money too. I think you could sell each fertilizer pack for 100, 150. I just use mine to grow my plants. But let me explain something to you here. I'll give you an example. This particular plant is 4% on stage one. Again, I told you there's five stages. So I'm going to, if I used 100% fertilizer, it'll immediately go to stage two. Okay, so you wanna catch this right at the beginning. If I'm at stage one and it's at 50% and I use 100% fertilizer, it's still just gonna go to the beginning of stage two. So technically, you've wasted some of your fertilizer. You want to probably just fertilize at 50% if you're already at 50%. Um, if you're at anywhere from 0 to 10%, uh, you should use it, you know. But if you're at 50%, don't use it because you're wasting. So all you have to do is res your fertilizer bag. You don't even have to stand on your plot. I'm waiting for it to res. Okay, there it is. You res the fertilizer bag, it says click to load. You get a pop-up that says uses and load uses. You click on load uses. And um, then you click on the plant that you want. Oh wait, you hit, you, I, I got sidetracked because I just wanted to make sure that my stream was going and everything. Okay, so you load uses. And then you click it again and it says now click the plant and choose to fertilize. So you click directly on the plant that you want to fertilize. You get another pop-up that says fertilize. You hit fertilize and it just gave me 75% more. See it was at 4% and now it's at 79. Okay, so that's how the fertilizer works. Um, but again, you can also sell it uh, as well. 
um, once you once you pick your garden, I mean, once your garden is ready to harvest, you'll have like a little um, hover text over that says harvest. You harvest it, and once it's harvested, it doesn't go directly into your inventory. You have to get a scale. And here's the scale. Oh my God, this is my paint mixer. I'm tripping. <laughs> It's the same color. What do you want from me? Okay, so you get on the scale. You get another pop-up. Number seven is harvest. You click on harvest. And then you get a list of all the things that you can harvest right here. I just picked something today. What did I pick? I think I picked some collard greens. I'm not sure. Let me see celery maybe so I'm gonna click on number 10 for the celery I get another pop-up I'm gonna click uses and in local chat it'll tell me how many uses I got I only have two uses so I'm not gonna package that I'm gonna see oh cabbage I think I did cabbage let's see how many uses I have in the cabbage okay I have 16 uses in the cabbage all right so <clears throat> I'm gonna click on package and I'm going to package five at a time because I don't really like selling them one at a time. I do if I have like an odd number, but I try not, or I save them for my own cooking. And then once you package five, then it drops into your inventory. Inventory. So I go ahead and keep that. I'll do it again. I have 16, so I'll do it three times and I'll get 15. And I'll have one spare, which I'll keep for cooking. I'm sure I, you know, I'll find a recipe to cook some cabbage and you know, I'll use that. So, I, oh boy, here we go with that. Okay, so now I have five cabbages. Uh, I don't know if you can see my inventory right here. Okay, now I'm going to take you to where I sell my produce. I sell my produce at two places. There's a lot of places where you can sell your produce. Um, you just go to the local affiliate markets and see if they have booths available for produce. Some affiliate markets offer outside people and some don't. You just kind of got to ask around. But I know for sure that Jackson Farmers Market does allow you to sell produce. You have to pay for a booth. I believe it's like a hundred lindens a week. Don't quote me on that because I forgot, but I'll let you know. Um, I'll leave the landmark uh, below in the comment section so you guys can find this store. Uh, but here we are I'm just waiting for everything to rest and again this is Jackson's Family Supermarket one of my favorite supermarkets the owner's name is Shaft super helpful super nice guy he helped me out when I first started with BU he taught me a lot so I really enjoy shopping at his store So in the front is the um, in the front of the store is the BU affiliate food, which is basically food that BU makes that we need to use in recipes. And towards the back is the produce section where I sell my produce. Now, if you're interested in getting a booth here, there is a long waiting list. You'll have to come over here to the side of the um, store and click on this sign to be added to the list see it says join list and then you get put on the list and then when your name comes up um, there's only a limited amount of stalls available so if somebody doesn't pay their rent or they decide they don't want to do BU anymore the next person on the list I took me maybe a month to get on the list I mean a month to get my stalls so my stall is looking empty y'all let me see how much it is per week so yeah, it's 100 lindens per week. It's completely affordable. And I like coming here because I can sell my produce for 100 lindens, which is not overpriced, but the farmer's market, usually people are selling it for 90, which is fine, you know, but hey, there's nothing wrong with making a little extra lindens now and again, especially if I put in all the work and I don't feel like it's a ripoff, you know, I'm not gouging anybody. Um, so yeah, uh, if you do get a booth here, you just, um, what I do is I put on, I make sure I put on my tag. 
I'm sure you guys know how to do this, but I'm going to set out this cabbage real quick here because I want to sell it anyway. I res the cabbage, and this is what it looks like when it comes um, out of your scale. Okay. You right click, hit edit, and you go into the general tab. You click for sell. You set it at the price that you want. I click show in search. I don't know if that works or not, but I just do it because. And click apply. And after you do that, you click on the cabbage. You get a pop-up menu. And you don't need to hit store or sell because it's already for sell. You hit the expiration date, and the expiration will show up above your produce so your customers know, and you also know, how long you have till it expires. Um, so as you can see, this cabbage didn't sell and I shouldn't have grown more. So I only have 20 hours left on this. So what I do is I let it either expire so it can turn into compost, which is also beneficial, or I just store it in my assets and then I go home and I make something with the cabbage so it doesn't go to waste. Same with the broccoli. I mean, I'm kind of prematurely doing it, but I feel like I'm not going to remember to do it tomorrow, and I know there's only one day left on it, so I might as well just go ahead and store it since I'm here. Um, but yeah, that's all I do. So uh, for me to place it easily, I love the copy. Copy. This copies a position. This copies a rotation. I just click back on my cabbage here, and I paste the position and I paste the rotation. Now it's completely lined up with the other one. I just move it over and boom, there it is. Simple, easy peasy. I don't have to be, you know, messing around with all that. But my things sell generally very quickly here. That's why my stalls are empty, so I gotta get to growing some stuff. Uh, some things obviously sell better than others. You know, I look at other people's produce and kind of see what they have and play against that. I'm not competing with them, but I'm just trying to see what is, uh, you know, in demand. So, you know, I just do my own logical thinking and be like, oh, okay, I see people have this, this, people don't have enough of this or this, and that kind of determines what I'm going to grow. I just kind of use my own intuition. Another place that I sell, uh, let me look at here. Another place that I sell my produce is at uh, the Phoenix Farmer's Market. Um, but mostly I sell paint here, but every now and again I'll throw some produce down here. I've already sold like four produces because I had them all lined up here in a row. Um, but yeah, you can sell it here too, but this sells a little bit cheaper. How do you know how much stuff sell, sells for? You can walk around and look at everybody's stuff, or you could do like me and look in area search. Uh, let's say I want to sell, okay, let's see, for instance, here, I want to sell some cabbage, right? So I'm just going to type cabbage in area search, and I'm going to see what everybody else sells it for. So people sell uh, one cabbage for 20 lindens, and then people sell five cabbage for 90 lindens, okay, or 85. Uh, at Jackson, he has a rule that nobody undercuts anybody. That's kind of why I like it over there. Here, there's no rules. It's a farmer's market. You sell it for what you want to sell it for. So um, it's kind of up to you what you want to sell it for, but I suggest you kind of stay in the same ballpark as everybody else or you'll wind up getting expired uh expired vegetables on your hand so let me go ahead and change my group and place these um and place these uh harvest of cabbage down i do the same trick copy and paste copy here let me put this in here so i hit copy copy I go to the one that I want to line up, paste, paste, oh, that didn't work. Sometimes they don't work, because sometimes it's like a different box, but most of the time it does. If it doesn't work, you just go in there and snap it in place, oops. Let me just make it kind of neat, all right. And I have the other one 
it's selling for how much? Or did I not put it up for sale yet? No, I didn't put it up for sale. So um, considering the price of most of the produce here being 85 to 90, I'm going to set this price at 90. I'm going to do the same thing for sale, show and search, hit apply. Same thing here, 90 Lindens, apply, show and search, whatever. I'm going to show you another little trick too. Uh, and then make sure that you click on it and click expiration so people can see and you can also see so you know what to do with it. And there you go. Now I have a couple cabbage and I also harvest a little bit of electricity. It doesn't sell as quickly as other stuff does, but hey, when somebody buys it, look, this didn't sell because I didn't have it up for sale or else that would have been gone. <laughs> I do that sometimes. I'm not perfect. That would have been gone. I was wondering why that one, I had like seven of them out here. Not all, all of them sold except for this one. I should have known to put it up for sale. And again, it's 10 BU power for 25 Lindens. All you have to do is go into area search, see what everybody else is selling their stuff for and set your prices accordingly. And then um, I sell all the paint. I have oils uh, for 10, everything is 10 Lindens. Uh, and I also have a full line of acrylic, but you see the investment it's time and Yeah, it's a lot of work, but once you get it done, it's done and it's easy to maintain But the initial investment in time energy and lindens is a little heavy So I'm not going to really go through all that. I will though if you want to IM me I'll walk you through it, but I'm not going to go through that on the video But yeah people over here sell all kinds of stuff they sell cut herbs black tea is really popular in the bu community because it raises your stats um let's take a quick little walk around here people have some of their stands set up so cute i just kind of just lay my stuff out there and keep it pushing uh people sell barley and rice um, and all different kinds of vegetables and sugar cane um paint satchels which are used for paint and medication she sells uh satchels um sometimes i come over here and i buy resin uh to make my paint she also has electricity you could even sell water ice cut lumber um it's just kind of like what you she sells herbs which i really don't sell a lot of but i'm sure there's some you know there's a market for it um she sells uh she sells raw limestone, zinc, aluminum, and I'll show you where to go get that at. I don't want to make this video like super, super long. Mousy, you still can't hear me? Do I have to scream? Oh my goodness. I got my voice all the way up. For real. Um, but anyway, yeah, there's a lot of different things that you could sell. Uh, you just kind of got to go in and explore the different things um, and figure out what works for you. Okay, so uh, I wanted to show you a quick little something something um, that helps me also. Oh my God, I went all the way to my restaurant. I didn't mean to do that. My bad. Okay, there are little beacons that you can get... Where do I have mine? Here they are right here. These are free. You get them at BU. And basically what they do is every so often a little BU, you know the little BU dude? He comes out and he scans all of your products and he puts them directly on the BU website. So if people are looking for a certain particular recipe, they can click on like a little link and it will link them to... Uh, um, different people that sell so this is a good thing to have and I'll show you where to go get that so let's head over to BU real quick um, so I can show you where the seeds are where the plots are and where that scanner is and um, how to mine the raw ore which you can sell so if you guys are doing achievements on BU, you get BU bucks. Well, what can you use BU bucks for? You can use BU bucks for paint and for tools, okay? And it really comes in handy when you're starting out so you can keep your profit margin down. Um, 
so I really suggest you utilize your BU Bucks for that and you can find all the tools uh, in the uh, B Bell building and I'm sorry if I bumped into anybody but if you're not familiar with the seasons they're right here you can also uh, if you have a scale at home you can just click the scale and I believe it gives you an option um, to show the uh, to show the uh, season dates but right now we're just uh, going into fall all the seasons are labeled here winter spring autumn or winter spring summer and fall again if you want to buy seasonal veggies they grow a lot quicker whereas out of season uh, take twice as long all the seeds are 100 lindens for five a uh, five pack you can also buy one I don't really see the use in buying one but you know to each their own or you could buy uh, bulk and uh, get 25 for 500 okay here is the flowers you need flowers if you want to make paint you need a paint mixer if you want paint but you got to buy all these different flowers um, right here are all the flowers and there's 700 lindens uh, for a five pack or you can buy them for 175 each I buy five packs um, back here uh, people also sell honey I haven't really sold any honey so I don't know what the profit margin is but here is where you get your honey at I mean you get your beehive and there's always an informational card here to teach you how to use it oh you're gonna need a well too unless you want to buy water uh, so you can water your garden um, I don't really suggest you use these as a water source even though they do give you water they only give you 15 whereas wells give you 25 I have these but I have them for more for aesthetic purposes because they're so darn cute but definitely get the well at least get one um, and here's your plots uh, you got a, a four plot a five plot and a one plot I would suggest going with the five plot getting the five pack of seeds and keep it pushing you don't really need a greenhouse unless you need unless you want it for aesthetic um, if your soil becomes uh, unusable it'll say it sucked out all the nutrients that doesn't happen till like every 40 harvest this is where you buy your fertilizer here again is another water source but it only gives you 15 where the wells give you 25 and I really suggest you use the 25 um, and here is your rain dance stick in case your wells dry up you buy these 10 for 199 and it brings your well back to life um, it doesn't happen that often but it does happen and if you want a fancy compost you can get one but I believe that the compost comes with the plot if I'm not mistaken if not this is where you buy it you can also dehydrate um, herbs which I don't do and that's where you buy your dehydrator I don't know much about the excavator so don't ask come over here and read the note card um, over here you can buy paint for your with your BU bucks or you could come to my spot and buy them if you don't want to use them for th that uh, here is all the paint you cannot buy these with lindens you can only buy them with BU bucks um, here's an easel if you want to start painting um, I do suggest you buy your easel at a farmers market for half the price or even on the marketplace or ask me and I'll build you one for like 400 lindens if you buy it here it's like 950 so yeah definitely <laughs> I'm not trying to put no shade on BU but yeah if you could buy it cheaper why not right unless you want to use your uh, credits or something I don't see the purpose um, and here is where you buy all your blueprints to build other things I'm not really trying to give you a tour I'm just trying to teach you how to make a, how I make money I make it off of paint oh they have the paint primer here I've been needing this oh yes I was looking all over the place where to buy paint primer Oh, I'm so glad I came over here so here I remember I told you there's a bunch of different swatches so there's nine different swatches and uh, one blueprint uh, cost well you can use your BU bucks I think 
you could buy them too on in the other side. I think they're 99 lindens per swatch and you're able to make all of these. Sexy red. I don't have sexy red. I need to reevaluate my inventory. Is that something new? I think sexy red is new. I don't remember seeing sexy red. I've never made sexy red a day in my BU life. Huh. I'm just looking over all these and making sure I got all the colors. Like, yeah. So it gives you the instructions for the acrylic and the oil. Okay. And then I'm also going to get into stains pretty soon. So uh, you need stains uh, to make uh, furniture and stuff. So yeah, that's how I make lindens. Now let me show you one more place. I really don't go here. Oh, let me show you where to go to get your tools. B-Bell. You see the sign up there that says B-Bell? Head into here. And um, this is where you get uh, your tools with your BU bucks and also blueprints to make them yourself. You're going to need a handsaw to chop lumber. And then, um, one more place I want to take you before I, oh, before I go on to the next way that I make money, which has nothing to do with BU. I hear somebody laughing in the background. Um, where is it? I'm lost. I gotta kind of get a visual. Back here, a lot of people don't know about the mine, but there's a mine back here that you can mine um, raw ore. All you need is a pickaxe, which you can use your BU bucks for. So basically, zero overhead. You can slap them up for sale and uh, make some money that way. I'm waiting for it to res, and I'll take you in here. So it's in the back of BU. I'm going to uh, cam out to give you a perspective of where I'm at on the sim. So this is kind of where you come in at, right here. And then you just fly up and over here, and there's the mine. Okay? Why isn't this resing? Okay, you just come on in. There's other people here already mining. You grab a pickaxe, you right click one of these nuggets, and you start chopping and you get, you either get your pickaxe back. Oh my goodness, what is all this commotion? You either get your uh, pickaxe back or you get some more. And you can either use it to melt. I don't do that, so I'm not going to go over that. Or you could just sell the raw ore. So there's that. All right, now the last way, well, I also uh, do interior decorating and stuff, but uh, you know, that's a whole different thing. I'm just trying to give you guys ideas of what to do and how to sell stuff. Last, but definitely not least, I resell gotchas. So all those unused gotchas, um, there's a few ways to sell them. Just like I showed you the farmer's market where I sell produce, they also have gotcha markets where you can rent a booth and resell. Um, make sure you look at the traffic and make sure they have a substantial enough of traffic before you start reselling your gotchas in world. Me and Izzy have a, uh, a little gotcha resell skybox where we're, that we're setting up right now and, um, we're selling all of our, uh, duplicate gotchas or unused gotchas for really inexpensive, like this cute little, um, dog with the uh, pumpkin is only 29 lindens. Um, we have some zodiac signs here that are not fully rezzed. Is he selling these for 70 lindens? Um, but yeah, um, you set up your, you know, if you have a little piece of land, you could set up some gotchas. But let me give you a little insider tip. If you're going to set up a store, people need to find it okay so you could YouTube or you can Facebook or you can utilize the classifieds which is really underutilized but I feel a lot of new people go into the classifieds to look for stuff so let me teach you how to make a classified real quick you just click on your profile 
Okay, you go to classifieds. Let me center this. All right, and then you click the little plus button. Automatically, uh, whatever picture, I don't know why that's doing that, whatever picture is in your land options is what will be here, but you can always change it and put whatever picture you want. You can change it to, you know, whatever texture you feel fit, you know. I mean, whatever you want to put in there. I just, you know, I'm just putting a, a floor texture in there for the sake of showing you you can put any texture. Um, if it's a land just dedicated to uh, your gotcha, you can also go into your land tool on the upper left hand corner, pop this open, go to the options panel, and change your snapshot there. Okay, uh, set your landing point to wherever you need to land to showcase your gotchas. Go into the classified, hit the plus button, type in whatever you want to type in. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make one right now gotcha resell and then down here you probably want to put in keywords of things that you have like the items that you have or the the creators that you have so people if they search a particular creator your ad will pop up okay and then you hit publish now here's the key you can set your price to whatever you want and I'm going to show you how to set your price correctly. So you're going to go into your search function, okay? You go into the classifieds. Type in a search that you want. So let's do the obvious, which is gotcha. Listing price, 5,000 Lindens. If you want to be above them, you have to pay 5,001. If you want to be below them, you got to pay 2,001. So depending on how much you spend is where your name is placed on this list. So obviously if you start at the default of 50 Lindens, you're going to be at the bottom, which is not bad because it's still on the first page. But I'm not going to pay 5,000 Lindens to be on the top either. My store doesn't justify that, that amount of money. If you have a huge sim and all you have is gotchas, then, you know, maybe. But for me... I feel like if I have a really cute name and I use, you know, a catchy phrase, I could be somewhere, I don't even have to be, like, I could be still where you don't have to scroll down to see me, but I'm not going to be on the top. So I would probably go with, like, 251, 251 linens, and I'd be, like, right here. Or, gotcha is a popular keyword, so you're going to pay a lot of money for that. If you're if you're into rental land, um, you see how short the list is. You could actually get away with the 50 Linden classified. Um, you can also resell your gotchas on the marketplace. Okay, uh, if you don't have land, very simple. Okay, I'm going to show you how really quickly. Very simple. You open up your objects, find your gotchas. Uh, let's see. Tick tock top red hat. You right click it like so. And um, well, that's no transfer, so that's not a good gotcha. Why did I have gotchas that are non transferable? That really pisses me off. That's like a ripoff, low key. I know I have a gotcha in here somewhere. Okay, David Heather's a big one. Okay, so right click move to marketplace okay I don't know if you can see that let me put it up here you can right click the object move to marketplace it opens up a new window okay right click that create listing now once you create the listing uh, browser I'm going to have to add my browser. Give me one second. Because I can't show my browser the way I have my Streamlabs set up. Um, well, it takes you to the market. I'm not going to go through all that right now because it's going to take up too much time. Why is this there? Oh my god, why is that in there? Oh my god, that was weird. 
<laughs> don't ask me what I did. I'm not going to mess with that right now. But it, it takes you to the uh, marketplace and you just follow the lead, it, you know, description, title, create the listing, sell it on the marketplace. But yeah, that gonna that's going to conclude my video. I don't want to make it too long. So I resell BU Harvest. I also resell gotchas. And, you know, that supplements my uh, income enough to do some shopping. But I hope you learned something from that. If you have any questions, hit me up in Discord. Hit me up on Second Life. I'm always open to answering questions. Uh, until next time, have a great day.